the Peter McKinnon Gomatic Sling Camera Bag. Is it the perfect sling camera bag? How much gear can you actually fit in it? And is it a waste of money? Why did I buy this bag over other camera sling bags? Well, one, because I look at the build quality and I think the build quality is amazing on this bag. It's waterproof, it's really nicely built. And I mainly just went for the quality, for the fact that this will probably last me a lot of years over if I was going to get another bag, that it would have only lasted me a couple of months, maybe a year at max. But the main reason why I love this bag so much is because of the way it opens. I love how the bag just sits there opened up you don't have to once you've undone the zip you don't have to struggle your hand to get inside you don't have to move it forward constantly you just pull it out and it's there and it's open for anything to grab from that is one reason why i absolutely loved the look of this bag and i thought it would have been so helpful when i am run and gun shooting and another reason why i loved it is to do with that run and gun style of filmmaking and photography is because of this a little elastic strap here if you're out and you have your camera in your hand and you don't have time to do the zip up all you have to do is grab this band and you can wrap it around this little hook here and you your bag is pretty much shut and safe for you to zip up later on and it's a really quick and easy access point to all of your gear if you want to grab your mic quick if you want to grab a filter an sd card you don't have to constantly do the zips up all the time how much can you actually fit into this camera bag well i brought it for like i said travel and to basically get me out and using my cameras more because my main camera bag is a low pro BP 150 I think. It is very big and it can get very heavy with all my gear in. Well now I have the Tamron 24 to 70 f 2.8. That is going to be my main lens 90 to 95 percent of the time for photography and filmmaking. So if I'm mainly going to be using that all the time I may as well get myself a sling bag that won't hurt my back and I can pretty much bring it with me anywhere I want to. I just think overall this will just make my travel experience that much better because of how light this setup can be. Okay so I've had this bag now for a couple of days and i've actually had the chance to play around with it and see what i can fit in it and everything in this bag will be what i'll be bringing with me but i have to say after getting this bag it has actually cost me quite a lot of money okay so in this bag it will basically be my run and gun filmmaking and photography kit for youtube and just travel basically and i don't know if you know but these up here are for sd cards so in this front top pocket this is where i will be putting my sd cards and these two pockets here are actually for batteries but I will actually put my batteries in this little compartment here. So I have two batteries with me at all times and there'll be one inside my camera as well. So a total of three batteries because I'm pretty sure that I'll be able to get me through a whole day of filming or photography. And what will be replacing the batteries in these two compartments will be my DJI mic and its receiver. I can't actually fit the charging case in here because it's just too bulky so all i need to bring with me really is one transmitter and one receiver because it will just be for vlogs so these fit nicely in these two compartments here and what i love about this bag so far is i can tell it's very well built and everything is very padded so i don't really have to worry about anything being damaged hopefully apart from these two sd cards i don't like how they stick out but that's the only thing i'd say out of the whole bag that I'm not really comfortable with. But I like these padded pockets for the batteries, but in my case, the DJI mic. And also to go with the DJI mic will be the wind muff and also this road cable. I love this cable and I use it for pretty much everything. And that will be going in this pocket here because I'm actually not quite sure what else to fit in this pocket at the minute. In this pocket here, will be my ND filter and I'll just use a step up ring for whenever I change lenses. So this is a 77 millimeter filter thread. If I do bring my 35 millimeter lens with me, I will be finding a place for it, probably in there for my 35 mil ND filter. But now let's get onto the cameras and the lenses. And for starters, my camera will be my Canon R6 Mark II. I might change to my R7, but for now, my R6 Mark II will be the camera to, that I'll be using. And that fits right in this middle pocket, lovely. And what I have noticed is you probably can fit it on, but I found that the cage is a little bit too bulky for this bag. So if you want to bring a cage with you, then it might not fit like it hasn't for me. And the first lens that I'll be bringing with me is my Tamron 24 to 70 f 2.8. This lens is a beast. I absolutely love it. 24 all the way to 70, f 2.8 throughout. 
I'm loving this lens so far. It is quite heavy and it is quite big with the EF to RF adapter. However, I do think it's worth it because the price compared to the RF version is like a thousand pounds and maybe even a little bit more if you buy it used. So I think this lens is totally worth it. This order Sigma one and this one will just fit in this bottom right compartment. And as you can see, it literally is a struggle but it just fits in. And my other lens that I will be bringing with me, and this is why this bag will cost me quite a lot of money, and that is because I would love to bring my favorite lens, which is my 7200 f2.8 with me. But as you can see, it's quite big, and it doesn't fit into this bag. So you know what that means. It's time to upgrade to the RF 7200 f 2.8 my fellow photographer friend who i do weddings with has the rf version 7200 f 2.8 and it just fits in like i said with this lens it's like that lens was made for this bag peter mckinnon is a canon shooter and i feel like he wanted to get that rf 7200 in this bag and he succeeded because it just fits in i luckily got this at the january sale and got 20 percent off of it so 150 pounds i think it is expensive and there are other bags out there that are probably just as good for a lot cheaper price but like i said just the build quality overall some of the little touches like that elastic band strap to close the bag when your hands are full. It's just really smart things like that, that probably photographers know, and like Pete McKinnon probably knows that. He's probably thought of that he would love that feature in previous bags, and he's put it into this bag. I think it's really good, and only time will tell to see if I do love this bag, but I'm hoping this gets me out more, I'm hoping it gets me traveling more, and I just, hopefully it gets me creating more content for you guys. So if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, and if you wanna see more videos like this, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you enjoyed this video, you might like this video up here where I actually talk about what's in my main camera bag for video and photo going into 2024 because like I said a lot has changed and soon it will probably change even more so if you did enjoy this video make sure you watch that video next